okay, I'm making this video because I think it's time to change things up and start allowing myself to feel more happy, more at peace, more positive, you could say, about just life in general, doing what it takes to make sure that I feel this way and that. Just, just have it more together, basically. After reading Akashis Vakela, Vakela's Transform Your Body, Transform Your Life book, I really do believe in the saying, your body is a physical representation of the mind. But I'd like to add more to that. I'd like to also say what you wear is a representation of your mind as well, partially. And if that is the case, then, I mean, it's time to assess. It looks like I'm just permanently relaxing. I mean, look at... Look, look at how they're look at how they're on. They're not even a third of the way on. They're like a quarter of the way on. My feet are like a quarter of the way in. My sliders and I'm wearing. Number one, I'm wearing sliders. Number two, like my feet are like a quarter in. The sliders. It's time to change things up, man. Almost fell. I want to go out my way to feel more happy and basically build that muscle of feeling feeling happy and at peace and grateful for what's around me and what I'm doing for myself. The experiences I'm taking myself through and overcoming overcoming things like becoming something greater than what I once was many many channels they they are dying off right now in this in this period of time many many channels they are they're dying off and this one absolutely will not be one of them. Absolutely won't. But man, like, five of them a day, five a day, five videos a day. That's the sort of consistency that I've been putting out. I do think it's sustainable, but not as sustainable as it could be. I believe that it's sustainable because I have love for what I do, a lot of love for what I do. And I like seeing the progress that I make within the calisthenics journey. However, it could be a lot more sustainable on the premise that I woke up earlier and I, I further improved my sleep routine. If I did that, no, it's, it's game over. Although if I did that, I probably could sustain 10 videos a day maybe even seven more like seven would be more realistic in my opinion if they're if they're fairly long i could do that but i'll i'll, I'll keep it to five because not only would i be maintaining the effort that i have here but i'd be giving myself more time to do things that i don't do on this channel I think many things could change. Many things, many things could change. Um, and me feeling mentally overstimulated, I could improve that. I always can. There'll always be time for me to do that. If I'm alive, there'll always be time to, for me to do that, to improve any, any, anything and everything. I've just got to keep going in that sense. There's time for a restart to become that, as I said on day seven, that, new, that much improved me by the new year. I don't know, I had the thought of this 
this idea yesterday, last night, when I made that coming to an image and video. It wasn't really a video, it was just me doing this. I made that last night, but I forgot. Oh, I think, no, I think I do have an idea actually. I think what it was, was the fact that, um, starting from yesterday, I went out of my, um, I've now been going out of my way to feel happy. I'm going out of my way to feel at peace. And then I think one thought must have led to another. And then I came up with that, sensing that it's time for a restart. And then eventually, I'm not going to be in this place that I'm, I'm living in. No, no, I don't want to be here. There's a lot more to life than what this area and this area alone can provide me. I'm not as connected to places as I'd like to be in this town that I'm living in. However, anything like this, my situation on the premise that I put the actions in to make it happen, I, I could change anything about my life. Anything within reason, of course, about my life. <sighs> Damn, that girl had a lot of lip filler. That girl in the passenger seat. <laughs> Oh. oh man. I think one of the major things that I could improve on is allowing myself to really focus on positivity rather than negativity for the most part. Because if I do, just from from personal experience, like in the fuck this lifestyle video and the fuck this video it, see, it sounds like I'm ungrateful for the most part and that is depressing just like my mum's food and that's another thing that I want to talk about I feel physically low down um, I sense a decrease in energy levels after eating my mum's food like the, the fried chicken was greasy it was so greasy it was, it was disgusting I always tell her that she doesn't need to know. The rice was oil, a bit oily as well. But I can cook myself much healthier meals and actually enjoy what the hell I make. Now I can I can I can salivate at the meals that I make now. Rather than being dependent my parents food my mum's food listen my mum's food is literally depression causing literally if I carry on eating that sort of food because of the increase uh, the decrease in energy levels I experienced after eating it well any of her meals really like my depression scores will increase and that's why I'm saying what I'm saying in my opinion because of noticing depression score uh, notice of it because I've noticed my depression score increasing after eating her food I really believe that it her food is literally depressing depression causing yes However, I don't have to eat that food. And if I take care of my physical and my mental health, the world's my oyster. The world's my oyster right now. But I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying because if I take care of my physical health and my mental health, that is just a starter. 
to take care of all of all the other sorts of health that I have, like learning more, uh, improving my financial health, my social health, my sexual health. My my sexual health is fine, but I'm referring specifically more to becoming educated in sexual health, not um, improving my sexual health itself. Just becoming more educated in that field. That's what I mean by improving it by improving how much uh, increasing how much knowledge i have on sexual health because i have very little and again i didn't get the sex talk so i've got to go out there and learn because i'm not going to go ask my parents you just don't ask that's what i've learned you don't ask you do not ask for help you don't ask for help from people that don't have it together like how you'd want to have it together you don't ask these people I'm not saying you can't ask questions in that to get more of an insight from uh, of their perspective but if you're asking for help now now you don't ask for help you don't ask for help from people that don't that have it in your opinion less together than you you don't do that why would you want to why would you want to stoop down to somebody's level that who in your opinion don't have it as together as you do i'm never going to ask my parents for food advice because I take care of my health better than they do. I eat much healthier foods. I cook myself much healthier meals than they do. So I'm not going to ask for I'm not going to ask for their help on eating healthily. Are you fucking kidding? It doesn't make sense. It's like someone who has a BMI of 36, someone who has a morbidly obese physique, telling people how to be healthy. You're going to listen to that person? No, of course not, because they show that they don't know how to eat healthy. They show that they don't know how to eat healthily just by existing and by their physique alone. Granted, they may have hereditary health conditions like type 1 diabetes. That would mean that they are more, um, it's, it's, a, it's much more difficult for them to be at a healthy weight. And if that's the case, fair, mate, fair enough. No, no, that's, 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 that's tough, man. But yeah, very basically. Um, oh, another thing that I'd like to say. I, I said to myself from last night, I will never watch people who I think, who I call fast laners ever again. People in the fast lane, whether it be completely or even slightly. For example, like, like drill rappers, Nope, I'm not listening to them again. I was watching a bit of um, Lilith Cavalier. I found out about her YouTube channel from a comment section on one of the videos, a Bailey Stewart video, I think. These people, nope, can't watch them. Um, because again, they, they're doing early fans. Like Lilith is basically showing her whole bum cheeks on camera on YouTube and it's not getting age restricted. That's ridiculous to me. So I could, I could put, I put a, if I put a swear word in, in one of my video titles, then it gets age restricted. Fair enough. But she's putting basically sexually explicit content on there, on the channel that she's running. But, oh no, it's not a problem. <sighs> just watch, just watch. 10 years, 10 years. Just watch, 10 years. Watch where she'll be compared to me. 10 years, just give it 10 years. She's in the fast lane. And it looks like she's showing no signs of stopping on camera. She's in the fast The alarm went off to say that it's three o'clock. She's in the fast lane. And it looks like she's showing no signs of stopping. Let's see where we're at in 10 years. 10 years, just watch. Just watch. After 10 years have passed and I'm 31, no, sorry, I will be 30 years old, uh, years young, sorry. I'll be 30 years young while she'll be 31 years old. We'll see, we'll see. Oh yeah, we'll see, all right. We'll see, trust me, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I may look at the content thinking, fuck, she's a last, she's a fast laner and feel bitter about it short term. But if she looked at what I'm doing, oh, oh, oh. 
Well, so I'd be 30 years young. And she'd be 31 years old. Amazing things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing amazing things. I'm going to be doing amazing things, trust me. Trust me. And it all starts here, really. I absolutely have made the start on doing what it takes to become a person, well, just live a life I consider ideal. I not even necessarily become a person that I want to be. Just grow. Grow, grow, grow. I don't even want to say that anymore, become the person I want to be or become the best version of myself. Because it makes it seem like there's a limit to that. There's a limit to how much you can improve. And I don't want that limit. And it doesn't have to be there if I don't want it to be. So I'm not even going to say that anymore. I'm just looking to grow. Watch where all these fast laners are going to be in 10 years compared to slow laners. Quite a few average people will say average. Quite a few average people may go, may get worse and go into the fast lane even. And then on the other way around, some may actually live the life they truthfully want to live, even though they at once, they at one point in time were average. And then great people, they may stay great or they may worsen or become mediocre for whatever reason. In the fast lane, and some may get out of the fast lane, some may, some may stay in it. But I'm telling you, 10 years, all of these, they'll, they'll get replaced. Just like how I could be. But I'll be able to live my life knowing that I never went into the fast lane once. Not once. And I never interacted with... I never interacted with uh, people who were in the fast lane once. When I say interacted with, I mean in person, not uh, who I've watched on the internet, but yeah, these sorts of people like Lilith and that. Fast laners. Hey, you may have the Teslas and that. You may have, you may, hey, hey, you may have, hey, you may have, you may have the Teslas now, now, but 10 years though, where's, where's that going to be? Where is, where is it going to be? 10 years, 10 years in the fast lane. People, some people may want to stay in the fast lane, but hey. You may you may run your, you may run yourself down and burn yourself out permanently by staying in that fast lane. You might you might just like how you can do that in the slow lane. I'd say I'm feeling a bit burnt out myself, but I know I'm really working towards making everything ideal. Everything everything and it all starts here allowing myself to feel more grateful for things like consciously even if i don't write anything down at least make a start on it at least make a start <sighs> just gotta keep keep at it man keep at it that's it i may make a part two on this but i don't know but for now i'll leave it at that 10 years, man, 10 years, just give it 10 years, 10 years, 10 years. Let's see where, so, well, let's see where I am at and people like me are at. And then let's see where those fast laners like OnlyFans, uh, the OnlyFans models and the drug dealers and the gangsters, let's see where they're at as well, 10 years. When I say that, I'm referring specifically to people who are around now. Just watch, man. Hey, life may not be ideal right now, but trust me, I'm further on the way to making it ideal. Every day, every day. And it starts with showing more gratitude towards things. But I'll leave it at that for now. I'm gonna, this seems like it's just more so a video to announce that I'm going to go out of my way to feel more 
more um, happy about things. But yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. 10 years, 10 years. Let's see where we're at. CJ, when you're 30 years young, when you would have lived 30 years, let's see, let's see. I wouldn't think I'd be getting old at all because I'd have it together. I'd have it together, I'd have my health in shape. I'd, I'd just be intact. I'd be more intact. I'd just be growing and growing on the way to mastery, which people want to see. So I won't even have to think about how much money's coming in and that. No, I'm not a money chaser. I'm not, I'm not a drug dealer. I'm not a gangster. I'm not any one of those sorts of people who go out their way to chase money. Nor am I thinking about like, oh, nor am I thinking about that sort of minimum wage life or anything like that. That's ridiculous. But yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. I'm gonna go just 10 years, watch. 10 years, when I'm 30 years young, watch where I'll be at. One thing I've wanted to add that I forgot to add is, I was, um, I was saying, yeah, no more fast lane and stuff. I'm not watching those sorts of OnlyFans models like Lilith in, Lilith in particular, or like any of those draw, draw music videos. And I was thinking, okay, you know what? I'll watch, I'll watch one, of, one of her videos, you know what? Just one, one last time one last time and then and then i thought no no i'm not if i'm serious about this i'm that that means i start now i start now that that doesn't mean i start tomorrow i start next week or anything like that no that means i start now i know that with those sorts of things just in my opinion taking advantage of your hardwired needs to want to have children provide for the children um, for a male and if it's for a female we're talking about nurturing but yeah these these people they're just taking advantage of those needs by basically showing old bum cheeks and that like how Lilith have, has done but 10 years ten, I'm telling you 10 years she's going to be 31 years old and I'm going to be 30 years young and because I would have worked for what I'd have is going to be sustainable whereas in 10 years time she may have gone she may have been far crashed down <sighs> it's not even because I dislike her as an individual I don't know how to dislike her but I just don't like the fast lane I don't like the fast lane and it could be a matter of me also not liking the fact that there's some people out there they, they just they they are getting these things so quickly these material these material things so quickly that would indicate that you've achieved what society may define as success like having those expensive cars like Teslas and nice apartments and that but that you got that from quick cash you got that from oh. it genuinely could be me feeling jealous or bitter because i'm not at that position yet but i'm not willing to get that by any means i'm not i just wanted to make a note of that on video rather than in the description because I was thinking, if I record it, that's going to show a lot more than just writing will do. I'd have to guess how I would have said it at the time. But if I'm recording and making a video about it, I'm not having to guess how I said it. And delivery, I'm not having to guess. And delivery in that. This is painting many more words than me writing it. It's done. Because look, I'm on the bed right now. I'm feeling dehydrated and all that you can look at my neck and see all these razor bumps that by then would have gone long gone but um yeah yeah i just wanted to make a note of that but now yeah let's see where we're at in 10 years but i'm gone for now i'll probably take a two-week break of making videos because i'm sensing i'm needing a break just so that i don't burn out but that'll be it for now Let's see where we're at in 10 years, one year, two years, five years, or half a, half a year, one year, two years, five years, 
seven and a half, and then ten. Oh my goodness, this is so on. It's gonna, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Just watch. It goes to me, my future self, and anybody else that's out here watching. I will not die. I will not die off. These videos will not die off. And I'll make sure of that, even if that means I take a two week break. They will not die off. One question before we really do go. Future me, how much have I achieved in 10 years? From the spot that you're at now compared to this, how much have you achieved? It's going to be a lot. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. I know, but how much, truthfully, how much, how far do you think you've come? How, how happy do you feel? How at peace do you feel with the decisions that you've made? Is there anything that you regret? Anything you feel really unhappy about and that you would have liked and that you would like to change and that you're working on? What? What, what, have, we, what have we done? How much have we achieved? It's going to be something great. But how much? How much? I know the future's bright in that, but I do want to know just, just so that, just so that you can look in the future you can look back and think wow i may not have had the most decent the most pleasant of childhoods it wasn't um extremely rough no but it could have been a lot better than what it, what it want what it, what it was and i just want to know have i overcome all of these hardships that i'm now facing the ones even the ones that i don't know are coming or that i don't know i have at this point in time have I, how many hardships have I overcome? What sort of person have I become? What sort of person have we become? I want to know. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'll make sure of it. I'll make sure of it. And then we can just enjoy. We can reminisce and enjoy. Have a lot of fun. Looking back at all these memories. Well, I won't. Because I'm in the swings of emotions right now. I don't have an outward perspective on things. But you will, my future me. You will.